All right, guys, as you guys know, my first name is Manny. You see me a lot, spending a lot of time on BLF and sometimes on CPF, but I haven't gone there in a while. Uh, too many people talking nonsense on there, so I just wanted to show everybody my new little toy. It seems to be nice lightweight, so as we know it. This is the Electrolumens ST90. Um, it's pretty, pretty nice size. Uh, I put it on the scale and it weighed a 3.78 pounds. Um, I think it's just simply amazing. I'm a pretty big guy, so to me it's, it doesn't weigh that much. It's just a little bit bigger than usual comparing the head and the other parts. It's solid build. The threads on the rear of this thing, you have to spin it like 20, 30 times to get the damn thing off. Which is good, you know. Um, O-rings are nicely greased. It's just solid construction, the way this thing is made all the way through, man. The cap itself weighs like a can of Coke. Um, the way Wayne puts these things together, it's just simply amazing. The quality of work and knowing that you're getting a light that, man, nobody else has. Um, it's just good all the way. Um, I slammed some, uh, some good batteries in there. It runs good. I'm going to shoot another video tonight, letting you guys know um, about the distances and things like that that I notice as you can see the SST 90 down there there's two little screws down there that um, to re simply remove the um, the LED or whatever you want to replace it whenever you feel like it um, it's just solid build the, the, the wind just took the time to really just build this thing um, this is going to be a longer than usual video as you can see Anywhere you go, you're gonna have to spend some time taking this thing apart. Um, it's just the way it just looks, the the, the gripping, the the ionizing, the the LED. It's just accurate work on this thing. Uh, the head is pretty much a solid four-inch piece of metal. It's the heaviest part. I still don't notice that it's heavy. As you can see, it's pretty decent in there. The threading is squared all the way through. So, it's just quality work. Um, the beam is so smooth. If people think you might lose throw with those diamonds on there, but the beam that comes out of it on my wall, it was just pretty wild. So, pretty much, it's, it's a nice light. Um, I picked it up at a good price uh, from a trooper in North Carolina. He bought it and had it sitting in his um, trunk for a while. And um, I saw him on eBay, so I asked him if he was willing to get rid of it because he wanted to put it on eBay. So I made him an offer, and that was it. They piled in the money and got it. I don't want to tell anybody because then you guys are going to want to come over here and kill me in the state of Florida. So pretty much, as you can see, slip the cells in there. The four of them fit really nice. There is no moving or playing around in there. The little contact points, just put them right in there, spin it around until it falls in, and then you simply just start screwing the damn thing back together again. The four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So it takes about 12, 30, 4, 15, 16, 17. It's like wow. So pretty much as we know it. And the light comes pretty much in, in two modes. You have pretty much the back button, which is going to put it into the high mode, and the front button, which is going to be a low mode. The low mode, I find it pretty decent. It's about 700 lumens. Um, as you can see, it's pretty nice and bright. And, but when you hit the, the Mac Daddy beam, that thing is obnoxious. This is in the daytime. As you can see, this my backyard is in the middle of the, of the summertime, and I can see the, the beam hitting the back of the fence way back there in the daytime. So let's see what this thing can do at night. So pretty much, this is it. And hopefully I'll shoot a video tonight with some uh, beams on it. And stay in touch, man. I'll see you guys on BLF.